good morning. You join me today, more day outside the Waterside Inn here at Mount Sorrow. Oh, it's moored up here. And that is the Waterside Inn over there in, and Mount Sorrow Lock in front of us. A few boats moving around. Well, let's go for this walk through Mount Sorrow. I wasn't too sure whether to put a coat on or not. It's not cold, so I've chosen not to. It was rather damp in the air earlier. It's dried up quite well now, so I'm going to take the risk. I'm not going to get rained on. So we've passed Mount Sorrel Lock. Gotta be a little careful here. Now a little bridge. Put pass on the other side, so let's quickly cross over. This is the river part that flows around the back of the lock. There's corn we're actually walking towards today. Before we walk up towards corn, let's go walk the other direction here in Mount Sorrel. There are a few shops around. I believe there's a couple of interest. Shin tackle shop here. Hmm. We have Mount Sorrel Working Man's Club. So they have lots of live music on here every Saturday there by the looks plus a Friday the post office convenience store this is the place I'm told is absolutely fantastic it's a butcher's I do some of the best pork pies and sausage rolls you'll ever find, I'm told. And I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but the butcher uses these long horn cattle, locally raised. Well, I think we've reached the end of the shops. We have uh, the Baptist Chapel here, 1879. Let's walk back. We've got the box kitchen here, or bow kitchen, and snacks, etc. Just crossed over, I used the pedestrian crossing. From no change direction, and I'm walking now towards Quorm. Although I've got to backtrack my steps a little way before I get back to the junction where I joined this road. And I think this is Leicester Road. I was correct, it's Leicester Road. As we approach back. I'm not sure if this is a butter cross. Probably. The Butter Market Cafe, anyway. Let's carry on walking. I'm just approaching the junction where we walked up from the river and canal. And there is the junction we walked up on. I'm on the way back. I think we might take a little look in Stonehurst Farm Centre. They're always interesting, aren't they? Oldie woldy pubs. Well, I'm just approaching the Swan Inn now. And I've just realised I have been in there before. A long, 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 long time ago. Of course, when I say a long time ago, I don't mean the 17th century, not quite that long ago. But it's probably over 30 years ago, I remember going in that pub. Yes, I remember it being a proper oldie woldie pub. I 
I guess that must be the stone they're talking about. This is the road one would take up to the farm centre, according to the sign over there. Well, I guess that's the farm shop there. This is the farm and motor museum, I believe. I don't have time walking down, but let's see what time we've got on the way back. That might be an interesting little stopover. We'll see. Well, I'm not going to be filming much more for a while until I get to my destination. Now we're just walking through residential areas. So, I'll catch you again when we get closer. Well, this is something you don't see very often these days. Mobile fish and chip shop. Well, I know I'm getting close now. My destination is near Waitrose. And here we have Waitrose. Well, I know my destination is off of Granite Way. We have Granite Way. Well, I'm thinking this must be the entrance. I don't see any signs though. Perhaps it's not. Perhaps we can't get in that way. Perhaps we've got to walk down the granite road. Let's go and have a look. I'm assuming I'm getting close because there's people walking this way. I think there's a gap in the hedge up here. Aha! Uh -huh. And here is that gap in the hedge look. This is Corm Car Boot Cell I've come to. This is obviously the main parking for people. You may be wondering why I bought this for a car boot cell. If you remember Jack and Joe who gave me that wonderful blue paint and the red paint, well Jack runs this car boot cell. So I've come to visit them. Well here we are. Oh my god. <laughs> hey How we doing? <laughs> Are you all right? Smile! Not one, not two, but 20 pots of ever right How are you, darling? I'm good, yourself? Yeah, we've missed you. Oh. <laughs> I'm Amy from the car boot sale. I found you some hemorrhoid paint for your um, boat. Hemorrhoid paint? Yeah. You what you put on your bum? <laughs> yeah, hello. 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 So, hi, Jack, Jack keeps sending me these videos. Nice to see you. Jack keeps sending me these videos. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to buy anything. I'm going to say a quick look around. You never know what you might see. I've had to take the sound out of this uh, section because there was a radio playing in the background. The section was filmed by young Remy. So that was my little trip around Corm Car Boot Cell. It was great to catch up with Jack and Joe again. I must uh, come back up this way again and see them once again. Really good people, love their company. Well, I quickly stopped in White Rose just to get some potatoes. I forgot to buy potatoes when I was in Loughborough. So, potatoes bought. I'm not quite sure what happened with the camera from here whilst I'm walking around in the farm and motor museum area. I lost all sound on all these clips. The sound does come back again afterwards. I don't know what's on, if it's a SD error or the camera error. Anyway, I'll leave a few of the clips in so you can see and give you some idea what there is here to see. Fortunately, the same now returns, so we're all good again. I 
as I'm walking back, it's 12 o'clock and the swan is open. I'm going to treat myself to one beer to walk back to the boat with. I've been out walking for three hours. I think I deserve it. Well, I guess it's got a solid fuel stove as well. A lovely beer garden going right down the back there. Very nice. Well, as always, it's very nice to see the old fire in the pub these days. And the logs alongside all ready for winter. I just love these oldie woldy places. Let's go and take a look out in the garden. Of course, I had to get a beer. And I've got black sheep, best bitter. garden runs right down to the river. Here is the river. That's the road bridge we walked down just up there through the trees. The river comes down through here. And then we have the weir. Just listen to the water trundling over the weir. I find that quite mesmerising. And as we come back up from the river, through the archway. So do you do I want to see the back of the pub. It's time to sit down and have this beer. Well, as normal, I'm one beer and done. These days, it's a uh, Pushing the boat out on the old uh, finances otherwise. I noticed this glass has on it, Corm Beer Festival 2021. Beer o'clock, the late eight. So I guess Corm has a beer festival. I assume it's an annual one. And on the other side, we have the Swan Inn, Mount Sorrel. Well, these beers recently, are coming to you courtesy of one of my subscribers. The subscriber wishes to remain anonymous, but he sent me some money to get some beers. So this is one of them. You know who you are. Thank you very much. Whilst well, so I'm sat here in the beer garden of the Swan Inn here at Mount Sorrel, enjoying my beer. It's time to bring this little walking video to the end. I recommend you coming in here. It's a proper pub. Serving some great owls. So if you're passing on the cut, do come in. It's only a short walk from the canal or river up here. And it's a proper oldie woldie pub. Well worth a visit. Well, it's been a rather a dull day today, although it's not cold. I didn't put a jacket on this morning, and I'm really glad I didn't. I've rather enjoyed being out here today. I had a great time at Corn Car Boot Sale. Met Jack and Joe, great people. And if you're in the neighbourhood, do pop in to the Corn Boot Sale.
they run a great deal there and they charge you a pound as an adult to go in and I believe they charge seven pounds per stand so if you want to put a stand in up there so it's going to cost you seven quid if you've got something to sell that's worth selling pretty sure you'll get your money back quite easily if you're not already subscribed please do subscribe and hit that old, that old notification button that way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video please like the video and share and leave comments I love reading the comments and I answer them all and that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching Trevor Ames